Well, the birth of a new baby is supposed to be exciting with all the attention on that beautiful new addition, but for Mary Hollinsworth, that really wasn't the case. Though the baby was fine, Mary wasn't because she had had a stroke, and the great news is that she is now able to keep on amazing thanks to hard work, Baptist Health Rehab Institute, and joining us today is Mary along with Chris Whaley, who is an occup occupational therapist there at Baptist Health. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You walked in and I said you look beautiful <laughs> and full recovery, and it's so good to have you both. Uh, let's talk about really what happened. You went in to have your baby, as uh, most mothers do. I went in to, to, uh, to have her, and um, I had uh, ended up having a C-section. Mm -hmm. So I was in the hospital for about, I guess it was four days. Mm -hmm. I went home on that fourth day and I kind of had a headache. Right. And um, the headache just got worse and worse. And uh, by that night, I was just uh, pacing back and forth. I couldn't even lay down. And um, finally we got enough, you know, I got pain medicine and all of this to put me to sleep. Right. And uh, I went to sleep, woke up, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything, I couldn't talk, yeah. I couldn't um, move, you know, it was scared to death. Yes. I'm sure, yes. did, did you think to yourself, I've had a stroke, or did somebody have to tell no, you that? No, they, they uh, took me to um, uh, Salim Memorial, mm -hmm. and um, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything to the, the nurse was asking me questions, and I right. just looked at her, yeah. you know, and uh, so after that, I, I, I think I've, I've, I've um, kind of went to sleep. I don't. You went to sleep. Um, sure. And uh, um, that when I woke up, I was in St. Vincent. I'm sure it's all fuzzy, mm. yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah. Chris, somebody wakes up, and once they realize they've had a stroke, a lot of a lot of them may think I'm never going to get better, right? Right. That's absolutely true. But what you need to understand is that there is hope. And here, Mary is an example of somebody that has worked hard that has persevered, uh, she's put her nose to the grindstone, mm -hmm. and then with the proper intervention, then you can make a very nice recovery. Yeah, what sure. was your goal for her as you were going through the therapy program? Well, Mary had a pretty good sized stroke, so initially our goals were very uh, simple, just being able to perhaps move an elbow or a hand, uh, just to be able to get up out of a chair, certainly to be able to do basic things like self-care skills. Those were all our initial goals and then it evolved as she got better to the end goal being to hold her new baby. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, here you are, the new baby's yeah. at home, and all you want to do is hold her and take care of her, but yeah. you're having to learn how to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, tell us what you can do now. Are there any limitations? Um, I, I, I still have a few limitations on my right side. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can't really feel everything, um, but but I, I make days. Yeah, so. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. hold that baby girl. Oh, she's yes. now four years old. Four years old, yeah. Uh, what's her name? Yeah. Her name's Cora. Little Cora. Mm -hmm. Talk about Baptist Health and how the Rehab Institute helped you recover. You know, Baptist, it, it put my life back together for me and and uh, got me going in that that way. Yeah. So it, it was pretty pretty amazing. I shared with both of you, my dad had a stroke during one of his heart surgeries mm -hmm. and we immediately went to BRI and, and he did great recovery. Yeah. Uh, they're all there as a team really to help you get better, aren't they? That's right. We've got a very experienced team of therapists. We have cutting edge technology. We've got a new piece of technology called the Locomat. It's a robot, robotic walker, mm -hmm. and it can help you learn to walk again. We've got neuroelectric stimulators and just a wealth of experience. For people watching, talk about the importance of getting to the hospital quickly like Mary did and her family got her there once they realized something was wrong. That's exactly right. There are certain medicines they can give you, certain drugs that can lessen the effects of the stroke. You almost have to treat it like you've had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. If you had a heart attack, you for sure would be trying to get 911 and getting some help and you got to treat a stroke the same way because early intervention is the key sometimes to a full recovery. Makes a big difference. Mary, you're in the commercials and on the big <laughs> billboards. What has your family said about that? Oh, they, they just think it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are a perfect Keep On Amazing candidate, I think. And just another example of what Baptist Health is doing. Uh, you can go see all the stories on the Keep On Amazing uh, patients and their families on their website, and you can go visit that at baptisthealth.com. And, of course, we love mm -hmm. Baptist Health. Thank you so much. We Thank appreciate you. Thank you being here. Say hi to Cora oh, and bring her, bring her to see us next time. Okay. okay. Thanks okay. to both of you. Thank you. Okay.